One of my favorite TV shows is The Golden Girls. The show starring B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, Betty White, and Estelle Getty ran from 1985 to 1992 and is still rerun on different channels today. So when I heard a Golden Girl themed cafe opened in Washington Heights in New York City, I put on my Golden Girls t-shirt that Ashley was kind enough to get me and that's where I headed. You really wear a Golden Girls t-shirt, huh? Yeah, and it says Squad Goals. Rue LaRue Cafe was opened in February by Michael LaRue, who is Rue McClanahan's best friend. The two met 17 years ago and remained close friends until her death in 2010. When she got sick and they opened her papers, they found out she had nominated me to take over her business and personal affairs. So after Rue passed away, Michael was going through her different belongings, putting things in storage. So when he was bringing some stuff to storage one day, he noticed there was a spot where he thought, you know, a cafe could go. So he thought, why don't I open a cafe here and put some of Rue's belongings on display? Apparently she was a bit of a hoarder. We should have this place where people could come see her things and find out more about this amazing woman. At the cafe, the Golden Girls plays on repeat, as you would imagine. The walls are covered with photos of Rue, both professional and personal. Well, Rue always insisted she was nothing like the character Blanche, and that's why I put that picture up over there of her six husbands, because Rue McClanahan was exactly like Blanche. We talked about boys up until the day she died, within an hour of her death. <laughs> she was... She was a wild woman on the show. And off. I have no other <laughs> phrase. Uh -huh. So also on display at the cafe is her Emmy, some outfits she had worn, and even a phone that she had taken from the Golden Girls set. She stole one of the phones. Now, Rue never used the word steal. She always said filched. Sometimes if she saw something on set that she really liked, she would filch it. One of the things that I thought was filch. Like, really That's a great word. <laughs> a letter written by Betty White herself. So I said, have you talked to her? Is she coming anytime soon? She hates the flight from California, and she told me that she would never come here in the winter. And she also said she would cut the ribbon if she was still alive. She still got it. <laughs> um, when I visited, the place was pretty crowded for an afternoon. They served coffee, desserts, uh, and Michael said that there was one thing that he even noticed about the group of people coming in. Not one person was on a computer or a cell phone. People were sitting at the community tables talking to each other. It seems that one of the main themes of the show, friendship, has really carried over into this cafe. See, I can't turn the channel fast enough. You really wear a Golden Girls t-shirt. Yeah, it says yeah, squad goals. <laughs> I mean, I like it at times, other times, I'm like, I can't, oh, I don't know, it's like watching old women. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> uh, thank you. Good.